Okay, and here's another video. I'm not sure, but um, I think anyone can tell you that uh, I'm like kind of smart and I do a lot of research. <clears throat> so I researched when um, when I got all these wounds on my body that were just leaking blood, these growths that were disappearing and leaking blood. And I thought it was those uh, poisons I was inhaling. Um, but I believe it was, I was just becoming septic. And if I would have given it a few more days, I would have achieved my goal of exiting the world. But I took... Um, <clears throat> I, I wasn't sure, like I kind of thought it was the poisons I was taking, but I found out after I took the antibiotics it wasn't, because um, it fixed it up. And then taking, inhaling more of the poisons didn't uh, continue to make it happen. But, um, so I researched all that a lot, and then uh, I came to the conclusion it's probably that. But I was like, uh, I didn't keep up with it because I had so many, I have so many of these on my body that um, my clothing was starting to stick to me because the blood was just coming out and causing my clothing to, like, glue to my skin. And it was ripping it open, which I didn't really care about. But <clears throat> humans are like little girls, and they're going to cry and whine about everything. So if I'm walking around with, like, a bunch of blood coming out of me and stuff, they're going to, they're going to, like, do what happened before I said everyone should be force injected at the end of uh, 2019 to feel what it's like. They they just come and round me up like they haven't quit. It's been like two years since they're all being force injected and shit to learn why not, why they shouldn't have done that in the first place. And they haven't quit. So um, I was worried that you know, if I uh, end up with these holes, they'll be like, oh, he's crazy. He's trying to get rid of himself, and we got to fix him and clean him up. So I just I just dealt with it. Um, but I'm making this video because I, I have another little sore on me, um, or wound. And um, it's kind of like starting the same way the one over here did. Although that one started because I was burning my flesh off. Um, and that's probably where it entirely started was that right there and then and all these other little things appeared all over and just like open wounds like leaking blood they're gross wounds is the improper word sorry uh, there, there might be someone who thinks they know something about health trying to they're the health professionals although I'm ten times smarter than them when I was three days old so <clears throat> and they were gross at first, and they still have a texture to them, but they've sunk into the skin. Um, and it came originally from me burning my flesh right there, trying to just like, you know, tattoos are expensive, so I was just trying to burn stuff into my flesh to have cool designs. And, um, and try to bring out the magical power and try to figure out what's going on in this world, you know, because however I'm controlling it. If it's these magical symbols, I guess the more I have, the more power I have, right? But, um, yeah, so I have this again, and then I looked it up again, but I looked it up like eight different places last time, and pretty much it goes from you having a wound to you being septic to you dying of a heart attack. And now when you look it up, you have a wound to you might have an infection to you might... And this and that and that and this, and then you might get septic. And what happens when you get septic is you just get these, these freaking. Well, you can't see because I got a bandaid over right now. But you just get this red area around it, and then the whole body part that it's that the, is the septic wound is on will turn like a red color, and you'll just look like a sick, diseased mutant. Um, as opposed to dying, like it didn't even tell me anymore that you can that you're going to have a heart attack eventually, and your cardiovascular system's going to fail because the, the infections in your blood. I mean, they're saying the infections in your blood, but it's not saying I'm going to get to die from it. So, and that is, this is another one of the things they've rewritten, right? Just like 
It's just like the tramadol. I'm taking enough tramadol that years ago it said I would have a seizure a long time ago. And then I bought some MDMA, and you're not supposed to combine those. And I didn't really think of that. Um, I didn't think of that at all. Um, because if I did, I would have been like, well, one's hammering my serotonin, and the other is going to hammer my serotonin. And I already don't have any serotonin left. So it'd be a waste. And then I took them both, and, and I mean, the large amounts I was taking, of probably both, um, supposedly four years ago would have put anyone in a death-like coma, or two years ago, and um, a, a seizure that leads to death, sorry. Sorry, I don't want any professional correcting me on what it used to say two years ago, if they remember now everyone can correct me by talking about the new stuff they've rewritten the past with. And it's like, why are these things I'm doing, like, being rewritten? It makes me want to look into the opiate thing, because all those stars on TV were dying from opiate abuse. Uh, they were mixing opiates with large amounts of opiates with other things. And it's like, I tried all that stuff, and it didn't work. And then in the past, I, you know, I got, like... My wrist is slid open, and it makes me look back at that. It's like, did they rewrite that too? Like, they rewrote the rules on how you have to cut your veins open to die because there was no rules when I first did it. And then magically, you've got to, like, you got to go down the river and not cross the road. What's that saying they say? Um, whatever it is. Like, after seeing this stuff and them changing it, I was like, yeah, they changed the other stuff too when I started doing it, didn't they? And, um, my back's still fucked up. Like, so, so you can tell, like, they're evil people in control at the end of the day. And I wouldn't 100% blame me for the drought in the USA and the, the blizzard that uh, almost swept the nation away last year and only destroyed Texas and uh, everything else that's coming. And the recent volcanic eruption and small tsunami, I wouldn't necessarily blame me for that because... There seems to be something above me allowing certain things I ask for to happen. And um, all this stupid stuff happening, like my vision going away right now, like I've asked for my heart to stop beating way more than I've asked for my vision and my, and my speech and my hearing and my fingers and, and feet to be removed, stuff like that. Um, so... Like, why, you know, it's obviously not me 100% here doing this. It's some sort of allowance and, and getting, and um, where they're trying to convince me it's me or something like that. It feels like, yeah, definitely. And I could tell that when I interact with humans, they're, they're trying to tell me that uh, the humans will interact with you based upon how you feel mentally. And it's like, I approached a couple of people and I was like, sure, this person is my friend. Now that we're going to be lovers forever till the end of time. And then they just did what they didn't even want to fucking look at me. And it's like, Oh, your bullshit is fucking fake. Like you're setting this shit up. Like, aren't you? You're like, you're like totally in control of the humans and shit. How does that work? If the uh, past is being rewritten, if music is appearing in the past and videos are appearing in the past that didn't exist, that means the humans in those videos, they're fake. Because they, they created some video eight years ago that they didn't create eight years ago. And then that combines with me seeing two to 20 clones of every person I met. And then I had two of the clones in one house. So I have to move from thinking they're shapeshifters to realizing they're clones. Cause I got two in the same house. And, um, and then I met like six or eight more of that one when I started traveling or kind of, I, I think it was that one. I asked not to see that one as much. The other ones, I know PM, I seen like three more of. One time I asked to see a PM again, and I looked up for my car, and he was in the car in front of me. And it wasn't because I was like, oh, I want to see PM again. And after I seen that person, it was like literally, because I'm like in the middle of nowhere, and I don't know anyone anymore. I don't think I ever did, but... I'm asking to see them again. 
And then, and then I asked to see my dad again because I'm not going to see him before I die. Or before he dies. Probably before I die, right? Um, and then, like, the next day at the gym, I met a dude who, like, was exactly like my grandpa. And then it took me a day to figure out, like, my dad's exactly like my grandpa, too. And so um, that was pretty weird. And he even had the little... He had, like, everything going on. Like, when I say clones, I definitely mean that stuff. I have the, like, people in my life have these weird personalities. They're different. My life is different than what other humans claim. We've done, we've done crazy stuff they won't even talk about on TV. And no one's dumb enough to repeat except for me, apparently. So, when that stuff happens, um... Like, I know that I've met, like, a clone of this person because that person doesn't even exist other than that. And they have, like, the same voice print. They look the same. Hell, um, the two Joes I got had the same name Joe. And and then I get them in the same room. And I, I could, I guess exactly what would happen in that situation. Although I was a little bit off because one of the Joes was a little scared. I guess because there was two of us, he felt that might have been against him. But I, I thought both of them would get pretty aggressive and hostile of the situation, and and um, I had to, you know, tell people, you know, not to like I that wasn't the point. I just, you know, wanted to get in there and get my stuff and get out. I don't want people to get hostile. But I knew that, like I. I I, I said to myself, this is going to happen because this person is just like this person. But I hadn't noticed the clones yet. I hadn't noticed they were all over the world and just how many of them there were. And, um, yeah, so when I combine all that together, when you have the past being rewritten, when you have... It, it's not just like YouTube, like, rewriting the past, right? These people... They think that the music videos they made eight years ago existed eight years ago. Like the beans in those videos, they think that existed. And some of this stuff I know didn't exist. Uh, like I'm a huge fan of certain things and like I would like check like the internet every day to see if something new was there and then there wasn't. And so I gave up because there's never anything new. And then magically, like, eight years later, the new stuff from these people that was eight years ago. And it was, like, an import. And it's like, well, I was buying imports, okay? So so there's no excuse for that. If there's an import of a whole album I didn't buy, I would know that. Uh, looking at their discography, it would have been listed on the discography. And I wouldn't have had to buy it in many cases. Like, I bought the Megadeth Hidden Treasures before it was released in the USA. Uh, and that was like 50 US dollars. Uh, and I bought it for one song. It was like one song unreleased on it. So I paid like $50 for one song. But other than that, once YouTube came out, I could see anything I want. I could listen to anything I want for free, see if it was good or whatever. And I would have done that. Like with Sabotage, they supposedly had these famous imports. And it's like every time I look up Sabotage, there was no imports. And this happens again and again, like today. I was looking at, um, you guys might know Tourette's guy. He's actually from Ohio, too. Uh, you can tell because in one of his videos, he's watching the Ohio Lottery on TV. And I think people think he's from, like, north of Columbus somewhere. But he definitely acts like an Ohio person, so it makes sense. He acts kind of like a Columbus person, so it makes sense. And, um, I mean, he's watching it on TV, so you, you're not allowed to see other cities in other states news when you go state to state it's like isolated so you don't know what's going on in other cities you learn that when you travel uh, as a kid with your parents and go to hotels and stuff you can't see what's going on in the city you came from you can't see if your kids are being snowed in in a blizzard or a flood or tornadoes happening or whatever but all this stuff, I, I've seen this enough times and know this is happening. They're rewriting. And I've had people approach me about this, too. I was, um, I, I'm pretty sure it's happened more than once. And this was like the, the third Joe I met as well. He came up out of nowhere in a parking lot in Portland. Was it Portland, Oregon? Yeah, I was still in Portland, Oregon. 
And he came up out of nowhere in this parking lot I always hung out with. It was called, like, uh, Bargain Outlet, I think, something like that. And they had, like, really, they had, like, different groceries and good prices and stuff. And I was always, like, I was just, like, hanging out in my car in parking lots for, like, pretty much, like, a year. Um, moving from place to place. And uh, going and doing my job in between that or whatever. And so I was just hanging out in the parking lot. And this dude, who, it's like the third Joe I met. I mean, he looked, he, he, he fit everything. And he came up to me and he started talking to me about, he was like, you know, the Bible's been rewritten. And then I looked that up online. And yeah, other people uh, think it's been rewritten too. Um, and I'm not too sure what to think about the... Um, the mainstream things they're saying about the history being rewritten, because sometimes I feel like they mislead you by throwing you some information that's true, and um, but they're showing you false information to discredit that truth. Sometimes they're doing that, and so I'm not sure what to think of that. But I had like one of those Joe, like the third Joe I met, come up to me and. Um, you know, explained to me that was happening. And I kind of thought I was seeing that stuff. So it was interesting at that time that this stranger comes out of nowhere and starts telling me that stuff's happening. And then um, I'm seeing it. Like, I'm seeing stuff appear on the Internet that I haven't seen before. And it's like, I've been on the Internet for like 30 years. I, I, I kind of know everything. I, I knew every Sabotage album there was. I knew every Megadeth album there was. So that... It'd be really hard for them to come out with a Megadeth album I've never seen. If they did that, then, like, that would be guaranteed. They'd come out with this Megadeth album that only uh, Australia knew or something in 1989. Yeah, I, that would be false because I knew everything Megadeth. And the Sabotage, I was pretty much right there with because I tried to listen to all their music all the time and find new stuff from them. And I was really upset when they sold out and started to become light. And then they became Trans-Siberian Orchestra, which everyone knows them as. They do Christmas carol covers nowadays in, in like football, giant football stadiums and stuff. So you guys might know who that band is now. But now they have like albums that supposedly weren't released in USA. And it's like, now, now I'm seeing this enough that they're rewriting they're rewriting the history around us. And how are they doing that? Like, the, these people involved in the rewriting, they're either willingly involved in it or they're being, their memories are some, they're just unable to control themselves. And they're having their memories, they're having false memories implanted in them of when they made this album or made this video and stuff like that. Like, that has to be like a requirement for that, right? Even when people are saying the Bible's being rewritten um, from he will lay down with the lion to he will lay down with the wolf, um, the, the publishing houses who printed those Bibles, their selves, their writers would have to be having their memories erased in order for that to happen. Some people say the Berenstein Bears used to be the Berenstein Bears and now it's Baron Stern or something like that. Um, and again, I'm not sure what to think about these mainstream things they tell you, but I can say the other stuff is definitely happening. I've definitely seen that stuff. And um, uh, now I, I, I've made videos the last 10 years about how the Internet's being rewritten. So uh, it's not like I'm an idiot and I don't understand that you can just uh, delete information on the Internet and rewrite it. But this is like... You know, this is bands making albums, thinking they made an album 16 years ago when that album didn't exist until like a day ago. And you, like Tourette's Guy, I just seen new Tourette's Guy videos today. And the, the one is dated like last year, so that makes sense. It's new. But the other clips I've seen were dated like 8 to 14 years ago. And... 
that doesn't make any sense because I used to watch like every Tourette's video, Tourette's guy video looking for a new skit I hadn't seen and they were all the same skits over and over. And then in this new one, he's like yelling at construction workers as he's driving down the road, you know, calling them dipshits and stuff and all this. And there's like three new skits I've never seen. And this was released like seven years ago. And I go back to Tourette's guy every like two to four years. And I've definitely done that in the last seven years. So uh, if there was anything new by him, I would have seen that. And then, uh, so they actually released a new one. And then uh, it looks like they released new best of videos where he had new clips that were unseen before. And I'm seeing this stuff kind of like all over, but no, more importantly, more importantly than thinking this, I've seen stuff in the real world shift around me. And that has made me realize that you can alter time in this world and change, you can literally change the world around you. Um, and they try to tell me everyone can do this stuff. Um, but it gets really hard for me to believe that when I see certain things and I get blamed for certain things. And I realized like if everyone was like really altering the world extremely hardcore, it'd probably be a lot more chaos than there is right now because it's supposedly no one even understands they can do this stuff and people would just be like, oh, this and that. And, then, and all of a sudden, this and that happens. And you don't even know it because it could happen down the street. Like one time I was like trying to, I was trying to summon fire and like within a minute, a fire truck is like blaring and sirens and traveling down the road and that combined with everything else I'm seeing it made me think like oh I, I wasn't accurate I wasn't being accurate about where I wanted the fire summoned so I may have just burnt down someone's house and you know like it, if that was happening to everyone then um, it would be like probably more chaotic than it already is with 14 billion people on the planet having supposedly having thoughts every couple seconds It'd be like utter chaos, and the world isn't technically. I mean, it is because of because the twenty twenty stuff. It is pretty chaotic right now, but before that, it wasn't really. It was it was kind of like a standard Leave It to Beaver type show, and um, yeah, and then the twenty twenty thing happened. And there's a lot of questions about that, and maybe I shouldn't run my mouth about it. Um, because maybe people might hunt me down eventually if they ever think anything I say is true. Um, but that's probably a bad idea, right? If you think what I say is true, it's probably a bad idea to come hunt me down, because you could probably figure out what could be possible if what I say is true. So, yeah, sometimes I think I shouldn't run my mouth about this stuff. But other times I think that it's important for me to talk about this and, and that's the key here to this world is to talk about it. And they've told me in many cases too the key is talking about this and, and become a light worker and sharing the information with other people about how the world's built. But the time, the time stuff, time being rewritten and all that, that's definitely happening. And that means people's memories are being fabricated and what does that mean about those people and what does that mean when there's clones of people if if their memories are being rewritten and then there's clones of them as if they're coming out of factories 